Now the aerator was designed originally to just make a clearer stream of water and to make it so it didn't splash all over you. But when water conservation laws came into play, it was also the place where they could put in a flow restrictor. Now see this? All the water has to go through that small hole. Wow, that's amazing. So all the water pressure coming out through that spout feeds right through that small channel. Right. So what I think is happening is there is some foreign matter, some could be a broken piece of a washer, could be a pebble, could be a piece of solder, exists between this point and the aerator right here. And when you turn on just one side, it's not enough pressure to force it into this hole and shut it off. But when you open up both, it is enough to ultimately shut it off. Okay, right. So our first step is to remove that aerator. Now, to get the aerator off, you got to be careful. Sometimes it, it is only hand tight, and that's not the case. Now, this one has two straight edges on each side, so I can use an adjustable open end with no teeth. Okay, so you don't do any damage that's to it. That's right. Now, if it was a round aerator, then I'd have to put a little duct tape or some rag just to keep them getting scratched. Okay, there we go. So now, let's see what we got. Look at that. Oh, wow. Looks like coffee grinds. Right, so you got all kinds of stuff in there. So, okay, so we're going to clean that out. Now, what I want to do is I want to see what else I have left in there. So I'm just going to put a rag down here. I'm just going to flush out that spout. So that tells me I got it all, okay? Wow, so just that little bit of debris was causing the water pressure to shut off almost completely. Right, it must be going down into the flow restrictor. So there's so much debris in there, I think what we're going to do is just change the whole aerator. I could try and clean it out, but uh, time is money, you know? Right. <laughs> now, what does an aerator cost? I don't know, five or six bucks probably. Okay. So now let's give it a test. Look at that, hot is fine, cold is that, fine. That's the acid test. There it is. And we keep going. I think we got it.